helicopter is not part of the show. We should have gotten a little bit of footage of it earlier. We've landed. Maybe he's going to go and get some gas like the other uh, helicopter. No, they just came to come to the air show because what they do is boring. <laughs> Usually the uh, military goes over to Alliance to get gas. Uh, they don't get it in places like this. There's no towers. You can't just taxi up to the coast. The hose isn't long enough. Well, they don't have Jet A over there anyway. That's all. Uh, uh, yeah, they got it somewhere here on the field. Well, I think based on it's in the truck. I don't, I th Cause I think that's the only pump they have. Oh, but I think the Jet A is truck only. And that must be it right here. Yeah, I mean, cause they had the truck that rolled up to the other one, rolled up to the Care Flight chopper. He must have hit something because his tail boom's crooked. <laughs> Yeah, prop strike. Knock, knock his blade sideways. Yeah, to fly with one turbine.
hard to say. They sure kept this this blade can't be more than about eight feet from that side. Uh, you're right, the Jet A truck, there it is. Yep. They probably have far less Jet A people here than they do 100 low lead. Truck, don't pull too close. Well, you'd think the crew chief would be out spotting that truck. Wow, they have brakes on that thing. He hit the brakes hard. <laughs> they must still, they still have a, there's something still running. Oh, okay. Guys, this is awesome wolf pilot footage. Military, you're the last to know everything, right? If I was a part of the briefing or the memo or anything. Honestly, oftentimes the last to care. We're like, here we come. We <laughs> 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 have a stall contest out there. Some of them are stopping in 150 feet. That's amazing. And one of them, 185, knows the over. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no, that's, that's pretty sad. I saw. On the internet, there was a guy that could take off in about 20 or 30 feet. Well, they got a storch over there, and I think he can do that. And that yeah. uh, Porter Helio Cur Courier can do something like that. That's really impressive. You, you guys can beat it. <laughs> well, yeah. We, we generate a little bit more wind in the process. So where are you guys flying out of? We're coming from Georgia. Okay. We're yeah. transferring this helicopter to New Mexico. Oh, okay. Yeah, just stop. Are y'all civilian crew? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Okay. No no lieutenants on board, huh? No, just a few retired ones. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Sir, could you give us some? Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Do y'all have air conditioning on that thing? No. Not even the cockpit? Nope. God, man, that's got to be miserable. There are some brand new ones that the Air Force is taking delivery of currently. Yeah. Brand new. And they don't have air conditioners either. I guess the Air Force just doesn't like that concept for these guys. How, How much grand? power are they going to bleed off? Not that much. Not much. Not in July. No. Uh, more than power for them. 106.8. How much we put in, Jeff? What do you all got? You got two what? 6,000 horsepower? Yeah. yeah, I'm not really sure where there's six hundred horsepower. There, there's a lot. I'm, I'm proud of the uh, pilot taxi that close to the helicopter. He's got pretty good awareness of where his blades are. Oh yeah, yeah. And then we were all watching at the same time. We had five different sets of eyes. <laughs> Uh, husband Tim did uh, fire jumping out of the Apache when he was young. Okay. He's 50, 55 now, uh, when he was in his 20s. But the way they would do it is they'd lower him on the rope or go down and then jump out. Oh, gosh. Well, they, see, didn't, they didn't parachute. Yeah, I see the, ar the thing arm they can stick out there to do their rappelling down or whatever. Wow, that's noisy. Just burping. 
Oh, is it there? So I said, these look like auxiliary tanks or something. They are. Okay, so that's 185 gallons each. For just the long trips and stuff. They fly with them 100% of the time. Just strapped here with ratchet straps like that? Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah, that's that's. Yeah, it was meant to be temporary, and, uh, but the Air Force uh, uses it permanently. <laughs> These aircraft always have them installed. I don't know. You may be Two gallons an hour. Tell me how many. I calculated it just over one mile. No, just less than one mile per gallon. On the way over here, if I was doing my math right, a couple hundred gallons an hour. Um, a thousand gallons. No, 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 no. about eight hundred gallons. Eight hundred gallons an hour. Yeah. Eight hundred to a thousand, depending on your Yeah. Well, a thousand pounds, so seven fifty well, pounds. Divided by six. Yeah. yeah. So you can fly for about an hour or so, and you've got to land and refuel. Yeah. Four. No, four hours. Yeah, we have. Or, to go, we fill this up. We have forty six hundred pounds. Four six. Okay. Yeah. So four hours. Yeah, we have we about 4,000 gallons of gas. Uh, so, uh, we are... What altitude do you reach your load? If you have to use the boom. Pretty much any. Um, we stick with uh, a few thousand feet up for the... Oh, we use the 130 to Yeah, so we're a few thousand feet up, just so we follow the tankers. So back down. These could refuel at any altitude. Probably about 150 Probably about 120. Okay. It's falling out of the sky. They're though. going pretty <laughs> slow, yeah. Oh, yeah they got big engines, though, so they can, they can put. Oh, oh, yeah. And the new ones, the H model, have really good fuel. Right, really and good all power. Cool. Yeah. Oh, the smell of kerosene. It's just. <laughs> so the black guy is straight to head up and then probably doesn't happen much at all so we're at the stole competition here in Gainesville that's a black hawk yes that is a black hawk civilian crew moving it from uh, New Mexico or no, Arizona or whatever I said but I'm so absorbed in the whole aircraft itself <laughs> this trip has been so freaking worthwhile. <laughs> Just a little bit more complicated than a UH-1. Just a little bit. When did you get out of the Air Force, Steve? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I went in in 67 and, and, and retired in 95. Okay. The year I was supposed to graduate from I high school. I got off active duty in uh, first time, got off active duty in 72. That was five years. Then stayed in the reserves to 95. Hmm. We got off active duty as a captain and retired as a, an 06 bird colonel.
I've never ridden no one of these things. Look at that. Look at the mass on this thing. I mean, he's talking about industrial. <laughs> these tires. Maybe aviator tires. Uh, nylon, tubeless, helicopter, 26 by 10. I was looking for a suggested inflation. It won't. It won't be on the tire, remember? It's just per the airplane. Yeah. What kind of antenna is that? What kind of antenna? I mean, I think it's sur it's sur surface look? A folded dipole. Is that what it is? It looks like an antenna, but it may not be an antenna. I don't know. I know that's that's UHF right there. Yeah. Well, 300, yeah, 300 yeah, megahertz. There's another one of these things. <laughs> it might be some fancy dancy uh, GPS. Well, one of the, 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 those deals, the, uh, the droopy things are metal. That other thing is not. That's some sort of Fenlick material. This right here is a, uh, a, a navigation antenna. Hey Steve, did you see the Stratus in the dash? The Stratus? The Stratus in the dash. See that white? I know, he's, 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 yeah, he's flying with four flight. He's using four <laughs> I wonder if he gets a military discount for that. <laughs> There's his display sitting in the center. Yeah. <laughs> How do you think they probably found the best price for gas? Yeah. That's well, funny. We, we fly with four fly too. All right, there you go. <laughs> I didn't even know about it. Thank you. Yeah, four flight's cool. Oh, you yeah. know, Garmin's too expensive. Uh, four flights. Yeah. <laughs> it does twice as much. You still need a GPS to feed into your uh, bike, whatever you have. Four flight. Yeah. So how accurate is four flight when you check it against your real GPS? Uh, Oh, yeah. was accurate and he was sub 100 feet there <laughs> and just found out that we're gonna hold here for a minute for the helicopter because they're gonna turn around and do a low pass for us thank you <laughs> uh, get a little bit of freedom it, it wind. inverted blown in our faces from that big rotor disc we didn't do a national anthem on this because we didn't have anybody to sing and i've got a scratchy throat so if you would stand up as these guys fly by this is who's protecting our country our young men and women of the armed services stand up and give them a big wave as they do a low pass civilian crew <clears throat> fortunately <laughs> okay get her going fast there we go, low and to the left, the mighty Blackhawk coming in hot. Oh, Even right. a little wing wag for us, or a rotor wag? I don't know, what do you call it when it's a helicopter? Well, I'd have to say a rotor wag, but what rotor a beautiful wag. sight. That's freedom. He didn't hot dog for him. Well, he's a civilian, right? <laughs> 